Alright guys, so today's video comes on request from Rebecca Meyer and that video is going to be a review of the Da Vinci Resolve Red Giant Universe combination. We're going to talk about whether or not it's like a viable solution to use within Resolve or if it's something you should try to stay away from. So we're going to drop our clips into our timeline here. We're using two just so I can demonstrate a couple different transitions and things like that that you can do. So the first thing that you're going to want to do all the time when you're using your universe plugins is to go into your effects down here. If you don't have this, you can go up here and click on effects library and it will pop up for you. First thing you want to do is go to generators and then you're going to want to bring out a fusion composition. And the reason you're going to do this is because fusion compositions by default are just blank. They're clear. You can see right through them to your footage down below. It's the same as using an adjustment layer in Premiere or After Effects. Now that we have our fusion composition or adjustment layer on our timeline here, we can go into our Open Effects tab right here, also in the Effects Library. We are going to search for Uni because all of the universe things start with Uni. So we're going to search for Uni and then we're going to scroll down and figure out which thing we want to use. Before we put any of these on our footage though, we need to come out here to our fusion composition, right click it, hit new compound clip. We're just going to call this one text test. And then now you'll see that it changed completely from what it was as like a purple thing to now it actually looks like some footage, like a clip that you dragged in the timeline. But it's still clear and we can apply whatever effects we need to apply to that clip. So we're going to drag out title motion because I really am not a fan of Resolve's built-in title tools. So we're going to be using this one. So now if we play this clip, we're going to see that it pops up with a really ugly looking spinning box animation that pops up. My computer right now is having some real big issues with RAM and my graphics card needs to be updated. So bear with me if this is a little bit slow moving. <laughs> but you're going to have this and then you're going to be able to um, do this with just about anything. So you come up here and if you don't see this window, you're going to want to click on inspector and then this will pop up for you probably like this. You want to click on open effects up here. You can edit your text by clicking edit text. You can make it say whatever you want like tutorial and then you got a mash tab or you could just click into it and then we're going to hit text and this is where you would change all of your fonts all of your text colors things like that you can change them over here in these menus but I like to do it over here just so it's like a one-stop shop and then you're done alright so once you have that done you're gonna hit play out here you're gonna check it out it's gonna do the same animation but now it says tutorial text because that's what we changed I find that Red Giant Universe has a lot of very nice presets that you can use in order to build your own or you can just use them. Like their lower thirds are very nice and if you want to apply one of these all you have to do is double click it and then it'll show up looking like this. So now when we watch it back it's going to come out and it's just going to be a nice lower thirds left side sort of thing and if you want to change them individually like if you don't like presets you just do all that in the menus over here. So in order to get rid of effects, you just come up here, you hit this little trash can, effect is gone, it's just a blank layer again. So now we're going to turn off snapping, we're going to scroll over a little bit, and we're just going to make this shorter, and I'm going to show you guys how to build a transition. So with the transitions, you can just pop them onto any of your clips that you have. It doesn't necessarily have to be in your fusion composition, you can just pop this right on here, and then if we play that back, it's going to give us our glitch effect and then it cuts into the next clip a little choppy there but that's how you do it with all of these transitions you can pretty much do the same thing if they're not working properly or if you want to do it a different way like if you want to find glitch up here and you want to use the stylized you can pop that one on your fusion composition and then that is going to hold the glitch so it won't be built into your footage it'll be on top of it and then it'll glitch right there and boom you're into your next clip and it's as easy as that so you can use them right in your effects library down here and you either apply them to a fusion composition or you just put them directly into the clip if it's a transition it's as easy as that i highly recommend picking up universe doesn't really matter what editor you edit in it's going to be usable in most of them it's definitely usable in Resolve, and I know that it's usable in Premiere, and it's really easy to use, and it speeds up the process, and it makes your edits look a lot nicer when you use it properly. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something. If you did, make sure to like the video. If you have any further questions, leave them in the comments down below. And if you want to see more content from me, make sure you subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.